in the green and fragrant southern suburbs of Warsaw, on the old road to the town of Constantin, lies the 17th century palace of Wolanow, home away from home for the storied Polish king, Jan Sobieski. Just as in the past, citizens, travelers, and tourists journey to the outskirts of the capital, mimicking the behavior of Jan Sobieski himself, who often sought refuge in his palace. Yes, he was the hero of Vienna in 1683, the battle that prevented the Turkish invasion of Europe. This is one of the landmark occurrences in both Polish and European history. And this was the residence where Jan Sobieski came to reflect. This Latinate palace would be at home in Italy or France, perhaps particularly France with its sculptured flower gardens, its invitingly relaxed facade and its ornamental canal. Motifs paying homage to Roman and Greek myths adorn the facade of the palace itself, as well as uh, the gardens. It's a pleasant place to relax and reflect. You can see why King Jan Sobieski had it built for this purpose, which it serves remarkably. Go there yourself when you're in Warsaw. You will not be disappointed, as these programs will show. This is the palace, not just of a king, but of a great king. In fact, Jan Sobieski is one of the seminal figures in European history, and this palace perfectly reflects the mind of that very special individual. We're being besieged by tourists, young tourists in this case. We're out in front of the uh, restaurant Vilanovska, and as the people come streaming by, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I have the menu here. And uh, somewhere is Arthur. I don't know where Arthur... Arthur, where are you? Here I am. Ah, there he is. <laughs> I, sh I should have known. Sneaking up on me as usual. We're standing here in brilliant sunshine. It does not get much better than this. In fact, it's getting a bit hot. I'm gonna have to uh, change, uh, uh, take this off in a minute, I think. What do you think, Arthur? You like that sunshine? What, you look like the Green Lantern or something. Okay, I, I, I hid behind the bushes so you couldn't see me. Yeah. Oh, is that why you were doing yes. it? Yes. Oh, I, I, I didn't know you were hiding behind the bushes so I couldn't see you. Yes, that's yeah. what I was doing. Oh, okay. And then I jumped out. And then you jumped out. And here I am. Like a, like <laughs> a, a, a huge interloper or, or something. At any rate, here's a, a magazine called Terra's Teraz Villanov, that means uh, Villanov now. We don't need that, because we're the experts. But I'll tell you what we do have here. We... <laughs> good, <laughs> Are you going to go for that? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> no, you don't need that. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to tell you everything, but we're going to start with food, because if you are a tourist, and you, want, and you come to this area, and you want to have a, a, a good start to your day, or a good finish to your day, because touring the palace, um, which will come up pretty soon, won't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, then you can start in this old school restaurant. This restaurant has been going and going and going for uh, a very long time. I don't even know how long, but uh, lots of years. And in the old days, even under communism, this was one place, if all the food was not available in the shops or other restaurants, if you came here, you would always get a good meal because this was kind of an elite place. So that's what you remember? Well, I wasn't here, but that's what people tell me. Okay. I mean, I was alive. Okay. But people, yeah, I, I wasn't here during communist times. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, I was like for two years. You think I am a friend, a fellow traveler? Well. No, not a fellow traveler. Okay, that's, tell about the steak. Well, I just want to say, uh, yeah, that's good. All right, uh, steak? No, I'll tell you what they got. The chef's recommendations. Mm-hmm. They have that. And go down to the steak. I don't know what that is. Steak, Poland Vitsa, beef mm -hmm. tenderloin, mm -hmm. tenderloin steak. Mm -hmm. Steak, z Poland Vitsa. Yes, yes. 62 PL in a bargain. Oh, I know what I'm going to say. If you go inside, have you eaten here before? You've eaten here. So now, now they convinced me because Poland is a very steak country yeah. and uh, we have perfect beef. So I think that that's a good choice. And we also have a mushroom soup and uh, we also have a Polish zander. Um, uh, which is uh, a Polish perch. fish. Perch. Perch is another one. Where's the Zan? Wait, no, wait, 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 because we have to talk about the ragu. Ragu. Ragu of Jiki. 
Okay. Jicaragu. We, why to talk about it? Why just don't eat it? It is a wild boar. Yes. No. You know what I mean? A wild boar? Yes. Get it? B-O-R-E? Tasty. Yeah. B-O-R-E. Tasty. Yeah. No, no. That's a, okay. At any rate, sandwich is here. Yeah. Is that a Polish fish? Yes. People are always talking about sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's called a zander in English? Yes. I never heard Z of a zander. Z-A-N-D-E-R. -E Such oh, look, an English word. Look at this. This They must get these. It's been really rainy That's recently. Not and they must get these snails. That's Shlemaki. not very. That's not very Polish. But let's Shlemaki. let's go. Let's it's go more French. refined. Let's it's go more French. sophisticated. As far as it's we are, a, it's a in a very French. sophisticated place. Why not? You like the French stuff, don't you? If you go in there, it's very old school too. That's what I want to well, say. Well, it depends it what like, you ask about. What? Well, no. I'm saying if you go in there and sit down, is what? I don't. <laughs> is that a joke? What are you talking about? Stay white. <laughs> Try to relax. Look, but not too much. Uh, you can get marinated. Uh, Marinated wasosh. What's a wasosh? That's a that's a salmon. A salmon. Polish people like salmon very much. Do they? Okay. And sledge, Baltic herring. Yeah. Sledge, Baltitsky herring. In other words, and pierogi, of course. Yes, you can get pierogi. Everyone can get pierogi here. That's a it's nice fantastic. place. It's fantastic. At any rate. That's enough, that's enough. You get the idea. The food here is old school. The place is, if you want a real example of old school stuff, and I'm going to talk about this plaque in a second. Come here, come here, come here. Stop standing behind me. Stop jumping like a <laughs> kangaroo or something. Did you spend time in Australia? Yeah, they should put him I'm in prison there. I'm just myself. Yeah, they should put for, him in prison for a trip. There. But there's an yeah. important stuff in here. Yeah. Take a look. So that's 90. Yeah, I, I want to ask you because, uh, but let me just say, there's a preface that you see these plaques all over the place in Warsaw and in Poland, but particularly in Warsaw, and all of these plaques have a meaning. Now, what is this one about? So this one is about World War II occupation and once again Polish resistance. So look, look, it's about it's about September 1930. Free. So that was not a moment of Warsaw Uprising 1944. It was before. It was in a moment when German-Russian defense line was next to Moscow and Stalingrad. So we were in the middle of Nazi occupation in here and still... 1943. 1943. Yeah. So it was right after the uprising in territory of Jewish ghetto, which ended September. in a very, in a very bloody way. The, the uprising yeah. in Jewish ghetto ended in May. So that September, that was still German army, the strongest on the entire planet Earth and Polish resistance conquered. Even yeah, on this Mars, building. they weren't the strongest. The Martians no, were stronger. No, that was that was an amazing moment in here that this Polish army was still fighting against Nazi German troops, and they were yeah. and they were having successes like this described in here. So they managed to conquer this building. They were fighting German troops in a park that we are going to see during next episodes, and uh, and these were victorious battles. Of course, retaliations were very tough, but still they were doing it. Why? So that we didn't have to owe our freedom to anyone. Yeah, and freedom is one of the most important values. Freedom and independence are values in Poland, just like they are in the United States and Great Britain. These are values, old school values, that still are very important. And the bells are starting again uh, from the church. It's time to go for people to go and, uh, and worship. Okay. Stay with us, Poland Daily Travel. We're gonna to continue to walk. We're just starting with our trip through Volanov. So stay with us from the restaurant in Volanov. It's Arthur, it's me, and we'll be right back. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. It's making me hungry looking at this menu. Yes, so, we started to talk about this too early. Yeah. It's 12 o'clock and it's yeah. like we have this menu in our hands. I know, I know, yeah.